and he's British so I love me a British man like you know I love a London boy Taylor Swift was right about that one and welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to be filming another book recommendations video and today I'm going to recommend you guys uh, books with the trope enemies to lovers this is the second part that I've done to this on my channel part one I will leave linked in like the clickable eye or something if you want more enemies to lovers rex and if you guys want to see even more I can definitely do another part because I have so many enemies to lovers books that I've read it's one of my favorite tropes and I read it all the time so I have so many more recs that I could give you and be sure to leave any other trope recommendations that you want me to do or just video ideas in general in the comments below and I'll be sure to film those because I'm always in need of new video ideas but yeah I have a bunch of enemies lovers books to recommend to you guys today so let's just go ahead and get straight into the video so the first book that I'm going to be recommending to you guys today is Wrecked by Lauren Asher this is the third book in the Dirty Air series but it can be read as a standalone and I love this book. It's about Jax and Elena and basically Jax is really struggling with uh, drugs, anxiety and alcohol and he's kind of ruining his reputation and partying a bunch and so his management team, he's an F1 racer, his management team hires Elena who is a PR person and she comes in to basically help fix his reputation in the media because he's destroying it and Jax has like severe anxiety so this has amazing anxiety rep he struggles with panic attacks and is kind of addicted to anti-anxiety medication which is not really good and so Elena helps him with that and helps him through everything in the media and help him helps him clean up his reputation. Elena is also struggling. She's been through a lot in the past and they kind of confide in each other and yeah it's so freaking good. The friendship groups in this book are so good and like I said it's the third book in the series. The other three books in the series are also phenomenal. They're all F1 romances. They all follow a different F1 racer and yeah this one's so so good and I love Jax and his British so I love me a British man like you know I love a London boy Taylor Swift was right about that one but this book is so good and perfect enemies to lovers because they absolutely hate each other at the start the next book that I'm going to be recommending to you guys today is things we never got over by Lucy score I absolutely love this cover it's so pretty and the daisies once you know you know it makes sense and I love it this is about Knox and Naomi and basically Naomi has just run away from her wedding and she realizes that she's not she doesn't want to get married that's not the guy for her and so she runs away and her sister who is her identical twin sister is in trouble and needs her help and so she comes to the town that her sister lives in to help and her sister is not a nice person she is awful and so she gets there and she goes into this cafe to try and find her sister and when she walks outside because her sister never shows her car is missing her car has been stolen with all of her belongings in it essentially her purse like her id everything all gone her sister took it and left her with a kid her 12 year old niece so what is what is she gonna do she doesn't know what she's gonna do and she meets Knox. and originally everyone thinks that she is her sister obviously they're identical and they hate they hate her sister and so they are really mean to her because they think that it's her sister but they slowly find out that it's not and Knox literally hates her at the start. This is like the epitome of grumpy sunshine, like he is so grumpy, she is so sunshine and they despise each other but Knox really wants to help her for some reason, you know, he's saying he hates her and it's not his type and yada 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 all while he's falling for her first. But yeah, eventually, you know, there's things are going to happen, the tension between them is crazy, it's a bit of a slow burn, this book is super thick but it's so good and perfect for enemies to lovers because they really do not like each other at all. He is really mean to her, like he is grumpy as ever. 
The next couple of books that I'm going to be recommending are all part of the Devil's Night series by Penelope Douglas. Penelope Douglas is one of my favourite authors and this is one of my favourite series of all time. It's not for everyone though. A lot of people I know don't really love this series but I absolutely love it and all four of the books in this series are enemies to lovers. So you have Corrupt and then you have Hideaway and Kill Switch and Nightfall. Kill Switch is my favourite. Damon Tonnens is everything. Damon and Winter. I'm obsessed and that one's hardcore enemies to lovers. Corrupt is definitely enemies to lovers. Hideaway is the only one that's not super super enemies to lovers but it's still there and then Nightfall is childhood friends slash childhood crush to enemies to lovers and it's so freaking good. So this series basically follows the four horsemen who are the best of friends in high school and every year on Devil's Night, the night before Halloween, they run amok around town essentially and they pull pranks and basically mess up the town and they, you get to see that in the first book and then one night they get caught and three of them end up going to jail and uh, for like a couple of years I believe. And so the book takes place, the first book takes place when they're getting out of jail and they blame Rika for them going to jail. So the first book follows Rika and Michael and you kind of find out what happened and how they ended up in jail and what happened on that devil's night. And then Hideaway is about Kai and that takes place after and so read Corrupt as a standalone and you can probably read Hideaway as a standalone but Kill Switch and Nightfall you definitely have to read the first two to understand what's happening. And then yeah so a lot of things happen in Corrupt and then eventually you get to Hideaway and Hideaway is about Banks and Kai. This one's not super super enemies to lovers but you see like there's past and present chapters and you see how they met for the first time and uh, their little love story and it's super super cute and then Kill Switch is my favourite which is about Damon and Winter. Damon is everything. I love him so freaking much. It's so good and uh, theirs is a very unique romance and I'm obsessed and if you've obviously if you've only read Corrupt you're probably like what the heck we hate Damon just give him a chance, wait till you get to his book, you'll fall in love with him, trust me, because I was like, how the heck does this character have his own book when he, after what happened in Corrupt, like he's awful, but his redemption is everything. And then you have Nightfall, which is about Will Grayson III. I love Will so much, and that's about Will and Emery. Emery's been through so much in her past, like her brother and her whole past is just crazy, and Will is so protective of her. And you get to see like past and present chapters again. Basically in all of them, you get to flip between the past and present, like the first time the characters are meeting, and then the present time when they're you know seeing each other again and this series is just so good there's also two novellas that go into the series as well and it's phenomenal and I love it and uh, go read it right now it's so good obsessed and they're all enemies to lovers like I said so perfect for this trope the next book that I have to recommend to you guys today is Twisted Hate by Anna Huang this is the third book in the Twisted series. So freaking good. Twisted Loves the f is the first book. Twisted Games is the second book. And then Twisted Lies comes out June or July this year, I believe. And I can't wait. So basically this series is all about four best friends and each book follows a different girl and their love interest. And it's so good. The Twisted Hate is enemies to lovers or enemies with benefits and it's so freaking good. So this follows Josh and Jules and Jules is Ava from the first book's best friend and Josh is Ava from the first book's brother so it's best friend's brother and it's so freaking good. I'm obsessed. The banter between these two characters and the tension and like everything it's so good and they didn't lose that like enemy banter that they had once they like became lovers like they still would give each other shit all the time and it's so good. I love that. I love that banter and they never lost it which was awesome. So yeah it follows Josh and Jules and basically they've always kind of hated each other but they've also always been super attracted to each other and uh, one day Josh is like why don't we strike this deal and become friends with benefits minus the friends so enemies with benefits and let's just start sleeping together and Jules is like what the heck no way and then kind of happens one night and they can't resist each other and it's so freaking good and then eventually slowly they find themselves falling for one another 
And it's so freaking good. The ultimate en enemies with benefits. The spice in this book. Stunning. Oh my goodness. The spice in all of, all of the books in the series. Like, Twisted Games is probably one of my faves. Like, I love Bridget and Reese. Like, they're so cute. Like, that's a bodyguard romance. But, like, Twisted Hate, everything is so funny. Jules is a bad bitch. We love her. Josh is such a hot doctor. And it's just so freaking good and perfect for the enemies to love trope. The next book I have is Shameless King by Maya Hughes. This is the first book in the Kings of Rittenhouse series, a series of hockey romances, and I love them. It's very comparable to Off Campus and Briar You, like same kind of concept. Hockey players, friendship group, so good. So the first one is Enemies to Lovers, and that is about Declan and McKenna. And basically they went to high school together and they absolutely hated each other like despise the other one's existence and then you fast forward a couple years later they've graduated high school they're in college they go to the same college and she's kind of in their friendship group because her best friend Avery is dating Emmett who is friends with all the boys in the hockey team and so Declan and McKenna go to the same high school and I believe they have to work it's been a long time since I read this book but I believe that they have to work on a project together for one of their classes and so they're spending a lot of time together and they're around each other all the time and uh, they realize that maybe they don't hate each other as much as they thought they did and then things happen and it's super cute the whole series is phenomenal hockey romance is so good the third book's my favorite it's second chance romance and i also love the fourth book which is brother's best friend and i definitely recommend reading them in order while you can read them all the standalones I would recommend reading them in order. You get the friendship group dynamic and just everything kind of intertwines better that way. I also believe there's a like little novella prequel type of thing that you read before you read Shameless King. And I read it like halfway through the book because I didn't know that it was there and I was a little bit confused because it kept referencing things that happened but you never actually found out about that. So definitely read that book before. It's free on Kindle. Yeah, you can download it for free and read that beforehand because otherwise you'll probably be a little bit confused. And the next book I have to recommend is another Maya Hughes book, and that is The Second We Met. This is from her Felton You series, which is another phenomenal series. This is the second book in the series, though, and you can definitely read it as a standalone, but like I said, I would recommend all the books in the series. The third best thing is my favourite, but The Second We Met is Enemies to Lovers. This is about Nick's and Elle, and they live next door to each other, so Elle lives in... They live in, like, these off campus houses I guess and they're next door to each other. Nix's house is full of boys and Elle lives next door with her best friend Jules and Nix is always, they're always having parties like after their football games and making a lot of noise and so she always calls the cops on them for noise complaints and she because she, she's trying to study, she's trying to sleep, like she doesn't want the noise and Nix gets so frustrated with her, so incredibly frustrated so he ends up going over there, I think he actually ends up throwing a ball through her window and so there starts the absolute enemies, the second that they met and then they end up, they're doing this charity work, building houses or something and Nix, like Elle runs the project and Nix ends up going and doing it with them and so they have to work together and they absolutely hate each other but you know Nix is kind of Nix doesn't hate her as much as she hates him and Nix is super attracted to her and eventually you know things do happen between them there's a lot of tension and they have really good banter as well and yeah this book is so good perfect for enemies to lovers and I definitely recommend the whole series the third best thing is the best book in my opinion Berkeley is everything for this whole series is just so freaking good. And the last book that I have to recommend to you guys today is To Hate Adam Connor by Alan Mays. This is the second book in like a little duet type of thing, but they're both complete standalones. Like I read To Hate Adam Connor before I read To Love Jason Thorne, but they're both really good and I love To Hate Adam Connor. It's single dad as well as enemy slovers, and you guys know I'm a sucker for a good single dad romance. So this follows Lucy and Adam, and basically Lucy has just kind of She's kind of lost on what to do in her life and she's just moved out of her apartment and until she can find another apartment she's living with her best friend Olive who is married to the famous Jason Thorne who is a famous actor and so they live in like a gated community neighborhood type of thing and Adam Connor is 
a famous actor as well. He's going through a divorce and so he obviously moves out of his house and he moves into the house right next door to Jason's house where Lucy is staying and he is this really hot actor with this adorable little boy and he moves in there and Lucy is like, I want to take a pig over the fence and like, you know, see what he's doing. And so her and Olive end up getting on the fence and looking over and they see Adam working out and his kid cheering him on and it's the cutest thing ever and Lucy's super attracted to him. And so she decides to keep looking over the fence, being a little bit stalkerish. <laughs> And one day she actually ends up seeing something happen and she jumps the fence to try and help with this situation. And Adam ends up coming home and catching her in his backyard. And obviously he's a celebrity, he deals with crazy fans all the time, this doesn't look good for Lucy. He calls the cops and gets her arrested. And she swears from that day that she's going to hate Adam Connor for the rest of her life. She doesn't want anything to do with him, she despises his existence, she's like, I just like helped you out and you're sending me to jail and yada 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 and so she absolutely hates him and yeah things kind of go from there there's so much tension between them and it's definitely enemies love it's like she hates him so much but they're so cute together i love adam he's literally everything and the, his little boy is the cutest he's so freaking adorable like i love it i love single parent books oh my god but yeah this book is so good and perfect for the enemies to lovers trope. And that is all the books that I'm going to be recommending to you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you want to see more enemies to lovers recs, I definitely have heaps more because I read this trope all the time. So let me know and I can do a part three or any other book tropes that you want to see. I can definitely do anything that you guys want to see. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. <laughs>